Hi guys. Um, as you can see, or maybe not see because it's very dark at the moment, it's me. One second. Alrighty. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video on a unboxing of an Anycubic Viper printer. Um, I'm not too sure how many of you watching this may know me or may not know me, but yeah, I make, I create and design these articulated fingers. So, which you may have seen around before. These ones are a little bit complicated, but yeah, they're very cool. They're good fun to play with. But um, yeah, they've been around um, on celebrities and movies, all different places. So, but I'm just a regular guy that sits at home, and makes things out of paper mache. Um, I designed these out of originally paddle pop sticks and fencing wire. And then I went through Aldi one day, $300 in my pocket and bought a 3D printer. And yeah, went on from there. So, but we have some any cubic filament and a printer. Righty, yeah. as you can see, I have not opened it at all. It's been sitting here for the weekend. Um, I meant to do a video of it a few days ago, but we've had storms and a lot of rain, and as you can see, I'm in a shed. So that rain and everything is very, very noisy. So, here we go. All right, so in the top we have as usual, you have your assembly instructions, which I'm not too sure how many people read. I do, do not, maybe. Normally I resort to them when I need to. Um, when I bought my first printer, of course, we have the screen, the filament bar, and nice can see the side. All right, so we have the printer. Okay, and there we have it. <laughs> Lucky that didn't have any more parts in it. Now, I just gotta try and think of which way this would go. I'm guessing the other way. See, instructions. That is what they are for. Alright, so this is going to take a little bit of time, but what I might do is I'll cut here, move inside, set up the printer, and um, take a bit more footage, see how it goes. See you soon. Okay, so I have a print going on it at the moment. Uh, just the generic print that came with it, which is an owl. So I don't know what it will be or who. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, as you can see, it is a very quiet machine. It's even got its own little light. Um, it's got a filament sensor. Um, very cool looking extruder. And touch screen. Yeah, so it's very nice. And I'm very happy with this machine. So. Yeah, compared to um, some of the other ones I've got, this is very sleek. Okay, so here we have it. Um, I've done a few prints. With that, I used some of the Anycubic filament, which is quite good, but I did have a failed print which broke from the bed because I didn't quite level it properly at, to begin with. But, um, yeah, it looks quite smooth. Um, some of my own. And some silk, 
which silk can be a bit of a problem sometimes. It was, I've only got a couple of layers to this uh, wall thickness, so it's, it did pick up a little bit of vibration. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's quite a good little machine, and uh, it does make a very cool little sound. Okay, so I wanted to give a final rundown on the printer, a bit more of a description on how it assembled and things. I didn't do an assembly video, this was more of an un unboxing video and, and sort of a, a bit of a re review on what I think of it and the quality, um, what it comes with. But um, yeah, it, it's actually a really good little printer. Um, the pranks that I did sort of came out really well. Uh, this one that you see was printed at a quite an angle and that came out reasonably well. Um, normally layer lines show up more at an angle like that so that's why it shows up so much. Other than that, it all went together really easily. Um, the main thing to do was put all the plugs in, four screws in the bottom to put the top piece on. Uh, yeah. That, there wasn't really much at all to put together. Um, there's a little drawer in the front. I don't know if you can see. There's a little drawer in the front that has all the tools. Uh, quite a neat little contraption. Also, it's a magnetic metal build, build plate. And the prints have been sticking to it really well without having to do anything whatsoever. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's a great little printer. I highly recommend it. There will be a link that I'll include to uh, to a special to buy to grab this pre-order for three hundred dollars US or two ninety nine US. I think it is. Uh, the link will be below, and I'll try and post a few bits of information about it. But other than that, yeah, it's it's quite a cool little setup. Thanks very much. See you guys.